Did you know that the average American has over $22,000 of debt and the American household debt hit a record of $16.9 trillion at the end of 2022? That's up from two points, or excuse me, that's up $2.75 trillion since 2019, according to the Federal Reserve. The top the top debt makers are credit cards, followed by mortgages, vehicle loans, and the infamous student loans. The question sounds simple, but many wonder, how do you get out of debt? Today in Money Matters, we want to arm you with some tips on how to get out of the rat race of debt. Ernest Burley from Burley Insurance and Financial Services is back with some strategies on how to pay off your debt. So. Listen, I've got a lot of friends, you know, they have maybe almost $10,000 in credit card debt and it's graduation season. Those student loan debt, you know, that's going to start hitting those payments. So where do we start when it comes to paying off debt? Yeah, so where you start is you, you account for each debt. So list all of your debts, the, uh, the, lend, the lender, the date you started that debt, the amount to pay it off, your monthly payment, the interest rate. List it all on an Excel spreadsheet or some type of computer document so you can see exactly what you're dealing with and then go from there. That's the first step, though. Okay, so mm -hmm. now I've got it all laid out. What should I do next? Well, what I would recommend doing is list the debt from the smallest to the largest. That's what I recommend clients do. So, you know, $300, $500, $800,000, $800, smallest debt all the way down to the largest and then we're going to start attacking it from that point. So where should I start? Should I start with the largest debt or maybe the debt with the highest interest rate? That's a good question. A lot of people always ask that question, but I recommend starting with the smallest debt, actually. Mm -hmm. So say if you owe 50 bucks a month on your smallest debt, like knock out that smallest debt and then add that fifty dollars you were paying towards the smallest debt to the next smallest debt so that may be a hundred bucks a month so now you're paying 150 a month on that next smallest debt and keep snowballing it's a snowball effect mm -hmm. keep knocking down the smallest debt all the way down until you get to the largest debt mm -hmm. it gives you a sense of accomplishment and confidence confidence every time you knock off a debt i see mm -hmm. i see but what about you know don't you worry about if you don't pay off those high interest debts as soon as possible that they're just going to keep getting bigger and bigger is that not something to worry about no no because you're knocking you are knocking down even the smaller debts are high interest normally too mm -hmm. so just because it's three or four or five hundred dollars or five thousand dollars as opposed to ten or twenty thousand you're knocking down that debt and getting that off the plate and you're using the payments you're making towards those debts to snowball and aggressively pay off the other debt so you'll you'll eventually get down to the larger debts but like i said the sense of accomplishment makes you more focused and and makes you prioritize it even more as you see man i knocked out 300 800 to the house yeah. yes it gives you a sense of confidence i can do it yes you i can started do it. here right. i can definitely deal yeah. with the bigger you're not going to start at the thirty thousand dollar debt <laughs> i mean then you're like okay oh, okay now it's twenty nine thousand nine hundred fifty dollars right yeah. so uh, <laughs> i see okay <laughs> So let's say I come into some money, some cash. Maybe I finally win the lottery, my scratch offs. They're working out. Should I just automatically, should I take that money and use it to pay off as much debt as possible? So it depends on the amount. I don't normally recommend clients do that unless it's a large amount. Like if it's a million dollars and you only have fifty hundred thousand dollars of debt, then mm -hmm. fine. Yes, I would recommend doing that. But if you receive fifty thousand dollars and you have thirty thousand in debt, I wouldn't say take thirty of the fifty, plop it on the thirty, and then you only have twenty thousand. I recommend keep your options open, very be very flexible, and have access to the total fifty, but aggressively pay down that thirty. Of course, you're not going to just pay a hundred bucks a month, pay a thousand bucks a month, or some just some amount to aggressively pay it down. I see. Mm -hmm. When I'm thinking of that list of all the debts that I have. Should I have a specific date in mind when I'm trying to tackle it so, you know, I don't maybe procrastinate paying off my debt? Yeah, so that gives you another sense of accomplishment. Every time you knock off a debt per a date, mm -hmm. you're like, okay, this day, so June of 2024, this debt will be gone. August of 2024, January 2025. So you have a lot of important dates, the dates you knock off each individual date. Uh, debt, and then you'll have the final date where you knock off the last debt. Mm -hmm. So yes, that's what I mean by using a specific date to even give you more focus to say, man, I'm, I'm, I'm trucking, I'm getting there, you know? So right. dates are important when you're paying off debt. But if you happen to miss a date, 
you know, that can be discouraging. What can you do to make sure that you're still on track, even though you might have not made it that specific date? Well, that's not a problem because you would have had successes already and you won't be that discouraged by saying, yeah, OK, I was I was supposed to be done with this in June. Now it's July or August. OK, maybe you're off a month or two, but so what? You know, mm -hmm. you've knocked off a few other debts already and you have another date in mind to say, OK, once I get done with this one, the next one's coming down the line. So it's, it's a confidence builder. And while I'm paying off that debt, for instance, if I'm paying off credit card debt, is it okay to still use the credit card, you know, just modestly, maybe here and there, I while like the I'm trying to... I like the way you qualified, <laughs> modestly, no. <laughs> okay. So, no, you don't want to accumulate more debt while you're trying to pay off debt. So, I no, I don't recommend doing that at all. Look at okay. look at your cash flow worksheet, um, pay, use your credit card, no, your debit card, mm -hmm. use the envelope system we talked about yeah. before to stay on budget mm -hmm. while you're paying off debt. Okay, I see. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you very much. All right. So now individuals should always contact their own financial professionals and attorneys to help answer questions about specific situations or needs before taking any action based on this information.